Okay guys, so we want to explain something to you before you watch the footage of this video. And it's because again, we consulted with <laughs> Dave, my husband, and he had a really great concept for Patty to implement. So she implements it here and I don't want you guys to take it as screwing up. <laughs> so she's actually doing a totally different concept than you guys are used to seeing from her. So I'll let you explain it. So basically my problem has been lately uh, getting Morgan to step off of me. You know, we'll have a, a really good flight and I'll, you know, click and reward, bring her back to um, a perching spot, and she will not go anywhere. And she just stands on my hand and really doesn't want, I've been having to target her off, and that shouldn't be the way that it goes. So we're spending so much time trying to overcome that hurdle that the sessions are getting really long, and, you know, the flights are going really well, but not so much that part. So Dave has this great idea. So what we're doing now is um, Morgan is going to fly to me. I click and I walk her back over to the perch. The reward goes on the table, and um, then as soon as Morgan steps off of me, I click. So she's got the idea now that, that the stepping off is part of the, the overall trick Behavior that she's that learned. Want. Yeah. So it includes her flying to me, stepping off of me, and then she gets rewarded. And that seems to be working out pretty well. Yeah, and I want you guys to realize like this is a brand new concept for Patty to implement. So in the very beginning, there's a little bit of stumbling through it, but seriously, the second that you get it and the communication is super clear with Morgan, the whole session just took off. Literally, the response is so good. The responses are instant. So I was really excited about this. I was nervous when my husband first proposed it because it's not an easy concept for people to grasp and do correctly, but you nailed it. Yeah, so. yeah it took a couple of tries for us to, to get it right <laughs> in the beginning, but as soon as it happened, I mean, it really happened. Yeah. So. And it's um, just a huge difference in our session. Everything just kind of clips along and it's good. It's good. So it's very different from what we were doing, but I think we need to continue in that, at least for a while until it's, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. we, we know for sure she's going to step off without any, uh, I don't feel like it behavior. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So keep this new concept in mind when you guys are watching this video. And of course, I'll put little text things to keep you guys in the loop on certain behaviors and stuff so you're you're able to um, recognize those things that are happening and uh, join along with us. Yeah. Okay. So up until this point, you guys are kind of seeing a little bit of inconsistency, a little bit of Patty struggling through this new concept. But literally on this next flight is where I feel like the breakthrough area is and the concept clicks with both Morgan and Patty. And the response that Patty gets from Morgan is amazing. So this is really where the entire thing turns around. So as you can see from Morgan's body language, she's eager to respond. She's responding without being hesitant. And here she steps right off of Patty. It goes right for the treat, understands that this is now part of the entire behavior that Patty is asking for. So Patty is no longer asking for flight, 
and then getting a reward and then step off and getting a reward. Now the entire behavior as a whole is flight and step off and they're paired together. And so check out how there's no hesitancy to step off of her. She's finally learning the concept and doing it without having to wait forever. This is amazing. And she's also equally as anxious to get to do the, re like basically repeat the behavior all over again. So the response for flight is now way better as well. So although everything clicks, we run into a new problem. Patty tends to find something that works and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And Morgan likes to keep things interesting and change it up. So on this next flight, Morgan clearly communicates to Patty that she has done eight of the same flights in a row and that's boring. And the cool thing is that Patty gets that message and adjusts accordingly. So I want to point out where Patty should have ended the training session. She could have ended it on this flight, on the next one, or on the next one. Those three flights would have been the ideal time for her to end the session on. Um, instead, she goes beyond this, which you guys are going to see, and it ends up leading to Morgan ending the training session. But anywhere within this scope, so this is going to be the second flight, um, and then there's one more that follows this, between these three flights that you are seeing is when she should have ended the session. Patty does still tend to turn her back on Morgan and disconnect and there Morgan's waiting for her to open the line of communication because she wants to fly to her earlier than Patty actually opens for her to do so. So the really cool thing about this is that, you know, Patty is not turning her back for as long anymore. She's getting a lot better about it. Um, but obviously here you can see that Morgan is engaging and trying to communicate with her the whole time and she just needs to remember to remain open. 100% of the time instead of I would say here she's at a, probably about 80 to 90% of the time open. Okay, so I would love to know, how did you feel about this second training session? This was the second one you've ever done solo. Like, how did you feel overall implementing a brand new concept, seeing the results? Well, I was everything. a little nervous because, you know, yeah. it, it's kind of, it's a little, it's a little complex, kind it of. It is. It is, and it's, it's kind an of not at the same time, but it's, um, technique. but, you know, the, the, her not stepping off of me has really thrown my not just my confidence for a loop but it's also you know the sessions are not going the way that they should be going yeah and it should be a we you know we completely break down communication there she mm -hmm. doesn't do what i expect her to do and it's like is she refusing or does she not understand or this fixed all of that yeah so i actually feel pretty good about this i feel good. i feel like um this is not going to be a, a problem going forward yay so i'm really happy that's awesome 
So the three things, and I've kind of already talked to you about it, but I haven't mentioned it to everybody else. The three things that I would have liked to see different from this entire session in its entirety was Patty actually did eight <laughs> of the same flights in a row. And we've talked about keeping the sessions fun and interesting and challenging for Morgan. The cool thing about the fact that she did eight of the same flights in a row is that Morgan told her that she did eight of the same flights in a row and that she needed to change it up and you got the message. Mm -hmm. And seeing that when I was going back and editing was such a total win for me. It was just like, oh my gosh, Morgan communicated this to Patty, Patty received the message and adjusted appropriately mm -hmm. and that, that is huge for me. For those of you guys that have been watching, I've been like beating that to a pulp, that whole idea. So this was amazing. So even though it was eight of the same, the fact that the message got relayed was so yeah. worth it. And it's the kind of thing that I didn't realize it was happening as it was happening, which is kind mm -hmm. of good really because I was focused on her. Uh -huh. And, and you know, she just made the message so clear to me. And it's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Did. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, so I'm, I'm glad you kind of picked up on that. Yeah. And I, I did realize that I had done it, but I, I did not, I did not realize the communication had happened until you pointed it out. Mm -hmm. And so it's, that's, that's what very I was excited about. Um, so the second thing that I would have liked to see differently, and this was the same with her first session as well, is that I would really like to see you do three reps, mm -hmm. take the video, look at it and make any adjustments necessary then do another three reps because that's the only way I think that we're going to see progression in one session mm -hmm. is for you to know what you need right. to change and keep doing correctly. Right. Especially with you not being here. I yeah. definitely got to do that. Yeah. You're now so your own trainer. I promise so. that we'll do that. Good. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then the third thing is that Morgan actually ended this last session. So, um, I would love to see shorter sessions where you end on that super high enthusiastic note and not, waiting for a sign that she's done <laughs> yeah, and then pushing one more so it's a positive the last thing we did was really great and you can yeah. jackpot for it and do it right <laughs> and, um, yeah, yeah yeah it's so hard it is that's it's a so hard, hard concept that's a concept and I was explaining this to Patty off camera as well like that's a concept that you struggle with forever it's not really something you can mark like check off the checklist um, as mastered even I to this day struggle with stopping when you're so excited oh, and things going are going so, so well great and you yeah. just you know one more one more and it's oh yeah yeah and the bird finally says yeah no we're done <laughs> and you've already it's, it's too already late. too late <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so those are the three things that i would love to see changed you know while i'm gone and we do we leave tonight so i'm sorry everyone you're not going to get your video update fix <laughs> but when i get back i will check out all of patty's footage and edit it together for you guys and we'll talk about it and, and that's going to be a update. great video because there's going to be a lot to talk about there's going to be a compilation of it's going to be like a series days. of its own yeah, yeah 10 days of training yeah. solo so um, I don't know what my internet situation is going to be, if I'm even going to be able to receive anything from Patty, if she has questions or not. Hopefully I will, but um, we're just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, you guys are not going to get any video updates while I'm gone. I'm going to be in Kyrgyzstan, and it's like, I don't I think it's a 14-hour difference. So mm -hmm. we leave on yep. one day, and we get there a week later. <laughs> 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 just kidding but you know what I mean so it's a lot of travel and everything we're gonna be on different different time zones and stuff so you guys will get your video fixed when I get back and I'm really excited to update you and see where you and Morgan are at in 10 days you know, keep your fingers crossed everybody I'm anticipating it's gonna be brilliant yay good vibes